Coach, back to back OT wins, back to back comeback. Sound impressed you with the resilience the guys are showing right now? Yeah, it was it was good. I mean, two completely different games. This one was a bit of a slog. I thought like our start was not as good as theirs. Our last ten of the first was really good. We liked that. I think we we gave up the shorthand a goal. The first one was a bad break, but you recover from it. Then you get a shorty against, and that that took us a little, little while to recover from it. The Rodriguez goal was clearly incredibly important, but. We, We've had some unusual things happen against us in the last two games. Strange goals, off legs, and, and but a resilient group. So uh, happy with it. We, we, it's not going to look perfect right now. We're not. We don't have that expectation. So we get into the third period. We're looking to get that game to even. Uh, and we're not worrying about style points. Speaking of perfect, that pass from Gus on Erod's goal, probably as close as you can get to perfect. How impressive was that? Yeah, it just uh, the composure to go back and forth and to hang on to it because they push the points pretty hard there. And they're, they're a team that uh, that takes off and will leave the zone on you. So it makes your defenseman nervous to be able to put it in time that so well. It's very good. Bob came up with some big saves, especially in that power play in the third. Did you keep yeah, it? especially coming off uh, Kind of some unusual, you know, the first one he's going across the net and then and, and it's in the net. They, they got a bunch of shots, then not so many for a while. So I think it was a, that was a veteran goalie's game. It was a mentally difficult game. Um, the ice was challenging, I think, for both teams. Uh, you know, and it is some nights in the NHL, that's fine, but it makes it especially hard for goalies because you're, it's, the game becomes far less predictable. Guys will start shooting pucks that they maybe normally wouldn't or plays that were that are obvious don't get made. Um, it was a veteran veteran goalies game. Barkov, Rhino team up for a bit on there at the end. You talked about weathering the storm really soon. How much of those guys kind of been the captains here for you guys just leaving? Well they're they're driving the offensive game for us right now. We've, we've, we know that we're a little challenged offensively. Um, but those guys certainly aren't and it's nice for for Sam the year before I came and, and my first year, he spent a 20 game block at the start of the season with with uh, Sasha and it didn't work. But it, it, last year it did, it, they just didn't score. I mean, they were getting the same chances, but they just couldn't produce. So you start to wonder, like you thought you saw the chemistry on the ice, you could feel it as a coach, it just didn't convert to anything. So you got you can't believe it after a while, but they've certainly made believers out of us now. What has Rodriguez brought to this team added this year for? Well, speed for sure and some reliability. I mean, he's a bit of a hybrid guy. He can play both sides equally as well. Uh, he skates very, very well, and then he can make some plays. So um, competitive on the puck. Barkov can play with just about anybody, but if he, can, he needs at least one other player with some speed so that he can kind of loosen up and get his, get his game going. Just, just around the back of the net so he can take that with some speed. Just small little things that he adds to, to Barkov's game. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.